Okay, YouTube, it's been a while since I've done a video, so here's a video. What you see in front of here is a Panasonic AJ-HPM200. It is a non-linear type editing system that is designed to work with uh, Panasonic's uh, P2 digital media cards. The P2 uh, media cards is Panasonic's basically solid-state uh, recording system that came out in 2004. And so what this is, it's a card recorder, it's an editor. You can plug in uh, both digital and analog sources of either HD or SD variety. It will upscale, it will downscale, it will time base correct, it will frame synchronize, and it will do processing amplifier functions on incoming signals that you can record them to a, a quality that you like. But it also has a built-in editor. That is basically like a hybrid between uh, uh, the classic uh, cut systems that you used in news before uh, computers came in and a nonlinear system. It's cuts in that if you've ever used a cut system, the uh, the workflow is the same, but you have the you have a little more flexibility in that you can do things to move clips around, and it's kind of counterintuitive uh, how it works. But once you understand what it wants to do. It's actually pretty easy and if you're in a hurry you can whack something together pretty quickly because you can just plug in the cards and go. You don't have to worry about say uh, loading stuff into a computer or multiple peripherals attached to a computer or even better yet if someone kicks the power, power plug out on you or the battery goes dead uh, this thing auto saves your work every step of the way so you don't uh, you don't get burned because you didn't hit control S. But one of the uh, one of the functions that this has is that it has network functionality to it. I've got it plugged into my home LAN and it's designed that you can hook into a, a LAN or an FTP system and you can shuttle stuff back and forth over the internet. You need a pretty fast connection to do it because this works with uh, ABC intro files which are pretty huge. You have uh, an hour equals 64 gigabytes. But when you're hooking into let's say a private uh, land at like a public space or a hotel a lot of times you have to go through an authentication process to uh, to be allowed onto the network so you can uh, you can do your thing and this little device here has a, a web browser I have to get out of I have to get out of uh, everything here so that I'm just in the blank screen and if I hit the mode switch here you see it's set to browser and I hit set it will open up this browser and this browser is called a spirit and it's a very lightweight browser and it's designed uh, basically so that you can get into the hotel LAN. You have to go through that uh, thing where it says I graded to terms of service and whatnot and everything and uh, well I gave it an error because it couldn't load the uh, the main page here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up on a tripod and the next shot you see will be a better screenshot and we'll actually go through and we'll see what uh, this browser can and uh, cannot do. Okay, so we're back in business here, and see it couldn't receive main content and failed to open the page because it's looking for a default website which no longer exists. Uh, this version of the software dates back to 2012, so I hit set and I clear out of that. If I hit the menu key, I get menu functions, and you can browse back and forth. For instance, you can zoom text in and out. You can stop. You can reload a page. You can save bookmarks, you can view your history, you even have tab browsing. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to URL, and if I hit thumbnail, I get like a mouse pointer. This does support a, a USB keyboard, so I've got that plugged in, and we'll just do uh, Google. Let me do this here. And then I will navigate over using the arrow keys. Unable to verify the site is trusted because it's obviously secure and it's looking for certificates, but it doesn't have the right tip certificates because they're 10 years out of date. So I hit OK. Boom, you get Google. And we'll just do a simple search for Panasonic P2. Now 
And so if you use the arrow keys, you can scroll up and down. You even get a, uh, it, it does do graphics in line. And so this is just a, uh, a Google page here, but now let's do something a little more uh, complex here. We'll go back. And we'll do, uh, we'll load my local, uh, we'll load my local National Weather Service website and we'll see how it handles that. So you can mouse over. A spirit couldn't receive main content and failed to open the page. So you can see the problem out here already when you're working with uh, software that's 10 years old. It's not uh, it's not liking it too much. Let's try we'll go to Euro here. Actually, you know what? I can't do that. I can't do a search thing in the menu bar here. You have the thumbnail button to get the, the mouse cursor off. We'll go up here. We'll mouse over do 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 Can I type this in? Yeah, there is a there is a function there. Oh yeah. You can do some typing functions if you wanted to. Hitting escape does nothing to get out of this box here. Do I hit delete? Delete does not work on this one here. Well, here are your arrow keys. So we'll do... We'll do storm track here. The storm track website. Serving Chaser since 1977. Storm Track. A spirit couldn't receive main content and failed to load this page. It doesn't like Storm Track. You gotta use the arrow keys to navigate this here. What else can we try here? Um, let's see if YouTube will actually load. That would be a farce if it did. Down. LOL, it's trying to load YouTube. Let's see what it does here. I can't imagine that the computing horsepower that this thing has under the hood isn't the greatest, so it might take a bit for it to uh, uh, to load. I'm going to pause the camera here and, and see if it if we get anywhere. Okay, so it did load up YouTube, but it just has a... Uh, uh, I just have a blank screen here. And I don't know if you can see the scroll bar on the right, but I'm scrolling down, but it's not it's not doing anything here, so... So we will go back. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, no, I need to. Uh-oh. Uh it does support uh, secure socket, so now we will stop loading this. Come on. I'm hitting the buttons, but I'm not getting a whole lot of response. I want to actually show a website. But it's thinking it over. It's being like Jack Benny. It's thinking it over. Okay, there we go. So 
See, the arrow keys do not work. The lead does not work either. So you gotta come down here to these double arrows. And there's no key repeat either, so you gotta hold it down for each one. Click, 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 click. We're just gonna. Let's we'll see if cable. Cable News Network loads up. Oh, it's trying. I'll take off the mouse cursor. You know what? Let's try Archive. And see if that'll load up. If I could browse this correctly here. Or maybe it is still trying to load load up CNN because it's not responding to my uh, it's not responding to my button presses here. Again, this is a uh, a ten year old web browser, so obviously the uh, the more modern more modern websites are gonna choke this thing down. But it seems like it's not gonna. It's not going to work with CNN here. Get thumbnail to get the mouse cursor. Let's see if it can load up Archive. The Internet Wayback Machine here. So our progress bar is halfway across. And again, it's being like Jack Benny. Oh, there it is. We do have a progress bar. I'm hitting the down key on the arrow here. So let's do let's do GeoCities. And see what the Internet Wayback Machine comes up with. I can see CPU utilization at 100%. Ugh, is this all it's going to give me? Internet Archive. Let's try this again here. I might have to pause the camera and see if I can uh, get this to cooperate here. Or I might have to pause it and find something that's more simplistic. And uh, That's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to I'm going to pause the camera and we'll see if I can find an old website that will uh, be a little more uh, be a little more cooperative. Okay, I think I have a website that I think will work. This guy has commented on some of my videos actually. Lab Guys World. Richard uh, Denali, I think, is his last name. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's see what this does. Boom, and that actually loaded pretty damn fast. 
Again, this is a uh, this is a, uh, a Web 1.0 site here. So let's check out his uh, museum of extinct video cameras here. And as you can see, it loads up images really nicely here. The BK Television Analyst. And it scrolls pretty nicely too. And so we will go back and it will reload. It has a little harder time with the uh, images here, but if I go to uh, boom, and it actually resolves these pretty good here. The text is nice and readable. And if you had this in a pinch here, like if you know any good Web 1.0 sites, it'll definitely it'll definitely do these without a problem. Fortunately, uh, it's a little goofy because you gotta there you go. If I hold this, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna see if I can find a uh, uh, another website here. Here's another great uh, web 1.0 site, uh, Chuck Ferris's website, ferrisvideo.com, and I need to, ooh, this one is a little, little more, a little harder here to, uh, to load. It doesn't like the, uh, the way his page is formatted as much, but, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Siren Tube. I don't know if you're watching this, but uh, that's a really old color television camera. That's actually a first generation color television camera. Basically everything that came after it was rooted in that. But I will, uh, I will screw down here. So these Web 1.0 pages, uh, they actually do, they actually do pretty good here. But I like this site because he's got uh, all the old, uh, all the old television camera listings. If I can find it on here, and zoom up, I should say scroll up. I wonder if it's even on here. I've got it up on my other computer just so that I can. Uh... Okay, television. It is there. I just gotta. I'm just not seeing it. There it is. So yeah, it's been a few years since this site was updated, but I don't think you can uh, really blame it when you're dealing with uh, stuff that's old. It doesn't change. Grass Valley Switcher. I learned to punch on a Grass Valley Switcher way back in college. Again, unfortunately, page down doesn't uh, do anything here. But how close am I getting here? So yeah, I've been going for like about uh, 20 minutes now. It also remembers all your scrolls too. I want to go to the uh, what's new page here. Come on. There we go. Wolfman Jack. We'll love this page, the newest editions. There's a TK41. So yeah, this is a uh, this is a 2011 uh, 
2011 web browser doing uh, web 1.0 web page is actually uh, uh, pretty good here. I'm going to wrap up the video here. Well, this video ended up being much longer than I had planned it to be, and my camera doesn't want to focus again here, but that's okay because this video is almost done. So yeah, that's the, uh, the web browser mode. Again, for some reason, camera does not want to focus, even though I have it on autofocus, but I will take it out of web browser and back to the other mode. So anyways, that's going to be uh, it for today, my review of the uh, S-Spirit web browser. I don't think you've ever heard that. But if you got a Panasonic uh, HPM200 and you're in the mood for some uh, old school web 1.0 videos, this is uh, this could be a, a, a unique way to browse them. So, yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Uh, thanks for bearing with me if you made it to the end. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe.